we will try to check how exploratory testing look like how to get defects while you don't have a detailed requirement we will try to apply some uh, concept of exploratory testing on this site this is an online site a shopping site it sells mobiles and tablets uh, laptops electronic items we will just prove for you how easy to find defects we will try to break down the functions that we see on the site so we will think in it like login register my card contact us checking after sale checking raya elite every one of those is sub item and need to be checked so we might write this down for later to know what we have checked and what we have missed assuming that all of those are in scope also you can view the site in arabic and in english this is also need to be checked we have search we have a lot of links for a lot of categories of items let's try to find some bugs in the register we will create a new account first name last name we will add all fields except the fields we need to check we will do it incorrectly If you noticed, it told us that mobile number is invalid. The system should not accept this form details because it has a validation. Note that the validation is not for the mobile number the validation is for my name is duplicate it accepts now the mobile number which is still invalid we will leave it the same So it accepts the invalid mobile number. This is a defect for sure. Now we are logged in. Let's check profile details. The first date has some invalid formatting the mobile number first name last name is not saved and we have entered them for sure first date have formatting issues let's try to add invalid format for the date this is totally wrong Let's try another test. Okay, everything is accepted. Invalid person, invalid mobile. This is very critical for the sides, the info that you are that you enter because they need it for analysis later so we have two issues here first date and mobile number regardless the issue that the first and last name did not and the mobile wasn't saved the first time so this is called the validation test we are not checking uh, we didn't check for now the functionality how to buy how to purchase from the site let's check another thing just out of your mind but from ex your experience with websites you have interacted with we are just exploring the site let's try to buy a mobile phone let's pick s3 and add it to cart 
So even we cannot purchase. This is a critical defect. If you cannot buy an item because there is unexpected error on the site. So even the main, the main function for the site is blocked. Let's try another thing other than buying. This is a live site. Let's try the search. We expect to get Samsung S3 or anything that has S3 in its name. And you have categories also. Great. Let's try new handsets. Let's try to compare two items. Okay, it has the functionalities. Okay, let's try to remove one of them. Nothing happened. This is another defect. Even if it doesn't accept uh, less than one item, it should tell me this. Okay, that's a defect for sure. Let's try another function. There is a function called newsletter. Add to newsletter or subscribe to newsletter. So if there is any new notification, it should be alerted by mail. So let's add an email what we expect that when you add an email and press submit it tells you you have been or you are subscribed correctly if you add the same mail you should get an error this is already subscribed that's good let's try to unsubscribe the mail successfully second time it should give me error it's successfully already so this is a wrong validation a missing validation that this mail is not with us anymore it already didn't remove it from the subscribe database the first time let's try just browsing some static pages let's try after sale add any receipt number let's try to paste we are trying to add uh, text let's try to paste text uh, that's good he's removing any text of course if we have another details we should have a, a, a better test try to check in the maintenance centers that's good let's try my points enter anything in the account number Let's try another one. Good. In the real test, you might have something called test data. So you have some accounts, you have some national IDs to check with. Let's try to switch to Arabic. In the Arabic version, you should not have anything in English. Everything should be Arabized. This text is wrong finding. Let's try the compare. We have three items. Let's try to remove something from here. The display, the layout is incorrect, it's out of the borders of the table. That's a defect, yes, GI defect. The results are in English. That's not correct. Let's try to remove from here. That's not correct. So this is generally some defects we found on a live system. Try to do uh, some tests for yourself. You'll find a lot. This is sample for a predefined test case that uh, you test or backfinders might give you. It will be just like this.
maybe some minor differentiation you will be requested to enter your name your your environment let's say ios 6 ios 6 plus android 4.4 galaxy s3 whatever and the date you have done the test maybe you have you also requested to add the duration for testing and you will have some steps it will tell you go to the site for example google.com and the expected result to be for example for the first step site opened successfully if there is any test data needed you will be provided with test data like username password account number things that you can't create for yourself they should provide you with this it might be here and it might be in the cycle overview we will see the cycle overview in the next uh, video cycle overview for you test and for bug finders the actual result what you found actually might match the expected result and it might not if it matches the expected result you add it here and you make the status as passed if it didn't match you also write the actual result here and you make the status as failed and you add a defect in the platform you will see later how to do this and you add the defect id here same for all steps mainly you cannot add a duplicate defects so what if we have 20 testers and all of them have found uh, the same defect the first one who write it is the one who will get paid for it so a tip for your test and bug finders start early once you get the invitation for the cycle or for the project go for it don't wait who add it first who get paid also, if, a, if there is a defect and this defect is found on multiple environments and they accept to add the defect on multiple environments and this happens a lot, so you had this defect, uh, this function is not working correctly on iOS or iPhone. And another one have the same issue in Galaxy S3. If the environment is totally different, you can add another defect that this function is, is not working in that way in your environment. But if you have an iOS and another one have an iOS and he wrote it first, you cannot write it. If you wrote it, it will be marked as duplicate. Your rating will be list after some duplicates. This is another type of test case called exemplar letter. This is the same format and input and data and info needed. But here you are filling everything. You are adding the steps you have just came up with. And what expected result you expected and what this data you used and the actual result and you have found a defect or not and the status of this scenario or this step we have here some defect samples I will provide this uh, Excel sheet with the content of the course so let's see this is how the defect should look like this is a defect for a site uh, other than the, the site we checked this is an online site, a live site. All those defects are functional. There is no harm on the site uh, if I share those defects with you. Okay, so check this one. Check how the title should be written. Check how the bug description should be written. How the expected result, how the actual result should be written. What's the defect category? What GI means? GI means that this defect affects only the interface. The function will go right. But the interface is not right maybe it's spelling mistakes maybe it's misplaced photo maybe um, the flash is not working correctly but it has no functionality issue so this is a gui issue if you are uh, working on a tablet and you have a mobile app that works very good on the landscape and but in the portrayscape it has gui issues graphical user interface issues you have issues showing the application but all the functionality works right so whatever defects like that it's a gui issue and you can press attachments to see what attachments are attached to the defects so we have about 47 defects here go through it in the demo we made some exploratory testing we explained predefined and exploratory test case we attached a lot of defect examples for the Jing using and the mobile logs, please check those links. Those links have full tutorials. Also, you test have something called you test courses or you test university. 
this R youth is explaining to you how to use and what is mobile logs and how to extract them also they have a lot of courses in a lot of testing fields try to check them